it's time. It's time to make Earl's first shed video. First shed video. You know, I have a lot to do today. I've got to do utilities need to be put in my name. So I got plenty of things in storage to pull out. Uh, the tiny house still has all my possessions inside it. Um, and then on the way here, I saw that they had glass 40s. I could throw the cap because I'm in my house now. I have a house. No longer home free. I don't, I don't mind. I, it turns out to be a good thing. Malt liquor. Yeah, malt liquor. Uh, uh. All right, so I've got a. Yes, you see, I've got two big sheds. I got a good house. I need like a. I need a YouTube studio. And I was thinking this might work. Like maybe a little bit, maybe a little different spot for the camera. Um. But you know, you've got like the pegboard back there and some shelving. I could do like some sort of something. I could do something. I've been hauling this couch around uh, forever, and I've never used it. Uh, whoever had it before, uh, I think it's Pleather, had a cat, and the cat scratched it all up, so they threw it out. And so it's still perfectly great, and it's just textured with cat claws. Uh, yeah, I like this little shed. It's not, I think it's, I really like that big one. But that big one is big. It's got a giant loft. Um, <laughs> I'd like to do everything with these sheds except for put stuff in them. You know, like, I guess maybe it's from coming straight out of a tiny house or whatever. But, uh, I guess it's because I could make this space my own. And the house is kind of like, the house has its own kind of design. I don't know. The house tells me what it wants. The sheds say we could be anything. So I need to find a pl I need to find a new place for uh, Wi-Fi. Uh, I'd like big sh big fuck you shout out to uh, the Gateway Fred Myers. I hate you, Gateway Fred Myers. I like the people there. I've been going there so long. I know many of the people by name. Um, big fuck you shout out to my favorite library on 122nd. Um, just like so many homeless people there. You have to get up and move because like people come in and they smell so bad. And you have to smell really bad for me to move. Like, I think bodies should smell. Um, but if you smell like, you know, you know, it's no good. So I hauled a ton of stuff over here. I think I'm going to have to throw out a whole lot of things. Like, most of everything that I own, I've been using for camping and stuff like that for the last 10 years. And everything I own is just beat up. Just beat up. And now that I've got like a new house, uh, I brought all my cookware in. And then I just put my cookware back into a box and dragged it back out into the uh, garage. And I went out and bought a, a, a brand new cook set. Like, you know that deluxe, like, super cook set that I'm pro there's gonna be there's pans that I'll probably never use. Uh. And then while I was there, I like bought like the stoneware setting for four. So I have stoneware to eat off. You know, actually there's another good camera angle right here. Let's, let's switch camera angles. I could do this. I could sit here. Because this is kind of nice because Jack, uh, I, I think I like that better actually. Because Jack used to look outside while he did his videos. He put the camera in the entryway and look outside and talk. That feels a little bit better than staring at that wall. It's a pretty good wall. <clears throat> oh, where was I? Oh yeah, so I went, I went out and splurged on some items. I bought a blender. 
I shall be blending things together. Thought I was gonna have to buy a refrigerator and freezer, but they decided to leave it at the last minute. That was uh, either really nice of them or they ran out of room. Either way, it's good times. So, been here, so I got here Friday night, been here, so I've been here two nights, um, made some Motlika videos, and it's hard to sleep, like I brought my bed in actually last night because I was having so much trouble sleeping, and the bed helped a little bit, plus I'm exhausted, it helps a lot, but I have three day weekend, um, I don't know man, I, I got a, uh, probably just get more of my stuff over here start sorting, sorting through what I want to keep and what I want to get rid of and then start making a list of things I need oh, I need a washer and dryer and I saw a washer and dryer that they'll deliver and install which I thought is fairly sweet like you, you know that probably costs a little bit extra but the whole idea of like someone's gonna come over and like put that stuff in and haul off it just that sounds dope so I'm gonna do that and the washer and dryer is like, it's got computers and uh, intuitive settings and stuff like that. <laughs> so it's fancy. And I'm probably going to go a little bit overboard at first. But I guess things like washer and dryer, like I've never had one before. I, I see getting a little nuts. I see going a little crazy. If, it's, if it costs a little bit extra to get voice activation, I will. If it has like Wi-Fi and takes pictures of my underwear as it's getting clean and then uploads that... Um, to uh, Facebook, I'm gonna get that. At, I'm gonna get that option. <sighs> yeah, this is better. Gives me the counter. Oh, yeah. I got. I got. Uh, I got really lucky with this house. Uh, the people that were living here fixed it up um, perfectly. And uh, right as they sold it, actually, they had like, I can't remember how much, it was over $5,000 worth of windows installed. They're really nice. And they were installed, they're, they were installed as they're moving out. And there's one more window to have, they're gonna put in. Um, so that they'll be coming by later this month to do that. Um, so the house doesn't, nothing needs to be done in the house. Like I need to do some, uh, some land, uh, not, yeah, some yardscaping, and I own a lot of yard tools, and I've told, uh, this is kind of thing that like one of my first, uh, my first awareness of dirt nap, what up dirt nap, was uh, I did a video about I find tools a lot, and dirt nap thought, uh, uh, rugby, that I steal tools a lot, um, but that's not the case, um, but in this case, I did steal all these gardening tools, is I was out uh, Mountain National Forest and some uh, kids were putting in a uh, BMX track in the forest. It's illegal. Um, and uh, they, they had all their tools uh, hidden in a couple of different places and I just found them all and hauled them out. You, know, you put in a BMX track, especially the way they were doing it, there was like these long descents. There, it's just going to cause erosion and um, it's, it's fucked up stuff. You don't... If you want to do a BMX track, you work it out on uh, non-public land. And if you're a kid, that's the thing. It's like you're the kid. You live right next to the forest. I could kind of see that, but like I think I'd still be aware of the fact that what I was doing was damaging. I think I'd be making forts and shit instead of uh, BMX tracks. I don't know. So I got lots of tools. To be pretty handy, pretty handy. The garden has berries and tomatoes uh, growing in it. Um, there's tons of ripe tomatoes ready to go. So I don't know. Like I don't know. It's pretty late to plant anything, so I probably can't plant anything. I guess I could put in some uh, some bulbs. I was thinking about putting some bulbs in. I don't know. So I had my dad and my brother over, and that was fun. They kept telling me how happy they were for me, and it kind of made me a little, uh, 
I don't know. I guess I am really happy for myself. Like, I guess maybe it's like I only hardly, maybe I can barely believe it. Like, it doesn't seem real. So every time they told me how happy they were for me, I'm like, well, wait a minute. Like, something might go wrong, you know? Like, don't, don't tell me you're happy for me yet. You might jinx it. All right, I think I think I think I'm good. I think that was the good uh, first shed video. It wasn't a classic, but uh, I'm discombobulated. I'm not on my game. So, so look at my yard real fast. Peace out.